Hi guys, welcome to a video, and in today's video I'm just going to be reviewing the film I Hate New Years by Tello Film. This isn't my first time reviewing a film by Tello Film. I also reviewed another holiday lesbian film of theirs called Season of Love, which fun fact, Season of Love has a cameo in I Hate New Years, it kind of pops up on the car radio music system thing. Fun fact for nobody unless you've watched both of these films, but oh, okay. But anyway, Season of Love was very very enjoyable, if slightly amateur, so I knew what to expect from Tello Film and mmm. So what is I Hate New Year's about? The film is about rising music star Lane Price, who heads home to Nashville for New Year's Eve to try and break her writer's block. And she discovers that sometimes you find inspiration and love where you least expect it. There's singing, there's incredibly perfectly white teeth. Honestly, this film is like a Disney Channel production, but for, for lesbians who have to watch it because there's not much else to watch. So what did I like most about this film? Well, firstly and most importantly, the two leads have chemistry. This is obviously very important for lesbian film. If the two leads have romantic chemistry, you can forgive almost every other aspect of the film, which in this case, it's needed. There's a couple of times in this film where Lane and Cassie are about to kiss. These moments are probably the best moments about this film. I found myself quite invested in Lane and Cassie's relationship. The music and the production quality of this film, they're good enough, you know, it's, 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 it's polished. There's also decent lesbian representation in this film and, you know, that's always a plus. Okay, so moving on to my dislikes, there's nothing that I actively dislike about this film. You can definitely notice the amateur acting and directing in places. For example, some of the pacing in this film is incredibly off and some of the acting is... I'm gonna say it's wooden. It felt like the actors were sometimes just reading a line off of a piece of paper as opposed to actually acting out the line. It wasn't very organic. Also, this is more of an observation than a dislike, but I found the film to be very, very superficial. All the women were consistently in kind of makeup and heels and they were just done up to the nines, even when they were just chilling at home. And this added to the kind of superficial element of the film. There's also a montage of Cassie and Lane taking selfies, which just, it went on a little bit too long. That said, I understand the type of film that this is, you know, it's just supposed to be a kind of light-hearted, superficial, fun film. It's not supposed to be gritty high art, I, I do get that, but I just, yeah, again, just an observation, not necessarily a dislike. I found the ending of the film to be quite bittersweet. I mean, we got a kiss, but it didn't feel nearly as charged or as intimate as the previous times that they were about to kiss. You know, the actual kiss felt quite rough and almost anticlimactic. Also, even though the two leads had chemistry, I could tell one of the actors was not comfortable with kissing as much as the other one. It's not enough to really take away from the film, but it's something that I noticed. I just think don't do a lesbian film if you have some reserves about kissing another woman. Maybe that's unfair. I don't know the woman, but I just... Ugh. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Overall, the film is pretty okay. I mean, Telefilm Productions, they usually fall between just okay and good. They're just in the middle here. I mean, I enjoyed this film enough to want to review it, but I did notice some obvious flaws. Like I said, the two leads definitely have chemistry, and I feel like this is what carries the film. The film is very light-hearted, it's superficial, and that can be a nice break from the usual doom and gloom that you get with lesbian films. So it's fine for what it is. I mean, there was definitely room for improvement, especially in terms of pacing, acting, oh, and kissing, but not to the extent that it really ruined the film or distracts from the main storyline. Okay, guys, if you've seen this film, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.